All right, our series Building It Better Together returns tonight as we tackle Philadelphia's infamous litter problem. Action News goes looking for answers. How did our reputation get trashed? And we're finding solutions as the city launches new efforts to fight back. Action News reporter Maggie Kent kicks off several days of in-depth reporting. She's live from North Philadelphia tonight. Maggie. Rick, no neighborhood is immune to litter, and unfortunately, that's earned us a not-so-nice nickname, Philadelphia. Here on 17th and Glenwood Avenue, you can see there's household trash, there's cans, there's bottles, there's even a boot right there. So our questions are, how did we get here, and what are the people in charge, tasked with fixing this problem, doing to really fix it? I think in Philadelphia, it's absolutely disgusting. This community is ridden with trash, litter, and blight. You know, I grew up in West Philly, and you know, I had a coach that called it West Filthy, but it is really a shame. Carlton Williams is a city streets commissioner tasked with shaking the city's nickname, Philadelphia. It stings. No one wants to have that connotation uh, associated with any parts of the city of Philadelphia. Uh, it's a name that's very embarrassing. The problem is more than just an eyesore in a city that generates billions of dollars from tourism. A dirty reputation can do damage when it comes to dollars and cents. Research found that more than a third of businesses say litter affects the decision to move into a neighborhood. Other studies found litter in front of a store can reduce sales. For homeowners, trash strewn on the sidewalk can decrease property values by more than 7%. And of course, taxpayers are picking up the bill to pick up all this trash. I would say that plastic bags are definitely among the top things in terms of the challenges and the litter that we're seeing on the street every day. But Pennsylvania legislators just a few weeks ago passed a law specifically preventing Philadelphia from enacting a plastic bag ban. For now, plastic and packaging doesn't biodegrade. It washes into waterways like here at Cobbs Creek Park where it's formed a plastic bottle dam. <laughs> Studies show people who see litter are more likely to litter themselves. Perception is everything. If you see a neighborhood that tolerates litter, people say, well, I guess this is the standard. This is a culture, so it's okay for me to do it. It wasn't always this way. Ben Franklin established America's first street cleaning program right here in the 1700s. In 1917, we were on the cutting edge, buying one of the country's first mechanical street sweepers. By the 1950s, Philadelphia was consistently ranked the cleanest city in the nation. We even used to have parades to celebrate our clean streets. So how did we get here? I'm not 100% sure like how we spiraled into um, kind of the, the terrible name that we've got now, which is Philadelphia. Um, I can tell you that I feel like our reputation is getting better. For years, Philadelphia was the only major American city without a comprehensive street sweeping program. That all changed in April with the launch of a pilot program targeting six neighborhoods. Then there's Big Bellies. There are 983 of them across the city. But the city says simply putting out more trash bins doesn't work. They even ran experiments in 2017. Sometimes it makes it worse because people will illegally dump their household waste inside or pile junk on top or next to them. Next thing you know, you got 30 bags sitting on the corner for what was intended for litter. A lot of litter comes from the way people put their trash out. They have kind of overflowing bags that are ripped open. Esposito says we also have to rethink our throwaway culture. Everyone has a connection from the richest person in the city to the poorest person in the city. We have to stop creating so much trash. And tomorrow we will ride along with a sanitation crew. We'll also introduce you to the people who are enforcing the litter laws in our city. And you'll meet some of our neighbors who are picking up garbage on their own in an effort to get rid of the litter in our area. Join me on Facebook for a chat right after this story and we can talk live. This conversation is definitely not over. You can also post your six second solutions on 6ABC as well. Live in North Philadelphia, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Maggie, thank you for that report.